<clears throat> okay, folks. Uh, so in this uh, short video, um, I'm going. I'll go over um, information about the Catalan Studio. First of all, how do you get it? Uh, what you need to do to get it. Uh, second thing, what edition or what version you should be installing. Uh, third thing, if um, Catalan Studio requires a GitHub, so how to configure the GitHub account. And the last part would be the install and configure Catalan Studio um, with the GitHub. Uh, so these four steps you, you will need. So for that, let's follow the step one here. So I'm going to open an edge browser. And I will navigate to catlon.com. And here, it's a Catlon Studio is a test automation platform. And uh, in order to utilize it, you have to download a software from the catlon.com and configure it. So they have a free trial available for enterprise edition. They do have a free edition, but it, it has a limited features. So in this tutorial video, I'm going over how to configure the enterprise studio. So for that, you need to click on start free trial, first of all, and it will ask you to create an account here. Uh, so go ahead and create an account. You can put any name you want. Um, then you need to have a valid email. Okay. Um, and you need to enter a password uh, and click on I'm not robot and start testing. Okay, it says this email does not exist. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try again. All right. So now let's see what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brand new account. Intellix QA 2022, you will, you will supply the password. September, Intellix QA September 2022, how about that? So everything is optional. You have January 01st, I'm sure everybody's born in January and 1990. Gender, you can say rather not say. Agree. Okay, so I have my email account created, so I'll go back to the Catlin Studio site. September 2022 at gmail.com. And I'm going to use the password. It's not a Gmail. This is for the Catalan account, this password. So make sure you remember that. And let's see what happens with this one. Okay, so it does say thank you for registering. And it is loading. And at this point, I should be expecting an email instruction. So I'll go back and check my email here to see if I receive anything. Okay, so I have promotions, nothing in primary, nothing here. Let me see if I received anything in spam. Ah, verify your Catalan account. Okay, 
And since it's uh, spam, I will mark it as look safe so that I can click on the link. I might have to move this email or mark it as not spam, okay? So it will go back to your inbox. And from there you open it up and you should be able to click on the link. If you don't do that, you will not be able to verify the account. So here suspicions like proceed. All right, so account verified, start testing. So we'll all click on start now. Okay, now you are in Catalan test ops on the left side that you see. And you can fill out anything you want, QA engineer, whatever industry, goal is to learn, I guess. Um, reduce costs, increase visibility, whatever you want. Show me further. <clears throat> and skip the tour. Because I don't want your take time to skip the tool um, to have it. Okay, so it will prompt you here. Uh, remind me later. Now you are. It, it will pop up so bunch of screens coming here. So I'm make sure you are out of there. Now first thing first. So you will need a Catalan Studio. Here is the way you can download. Right, this icon here says download Catalan Studio. So you can certainly click on it and it will prompt for this thing. And depending on your operating system, if it's Mac or Windows, uh, here I'm using Windows, so I'll go and download Catalan Studio for Windows. Okay, so while it's downloading, uh, it takes about 534 MB and uh, so forth. So let's see, let it download. I may have already have a copy. So I'm gonna skip, uh, I'm gonna close out of this screen here, right? And let's go to our next tab. So where to get Catalan Studio? So you logged in, you created account. If your email doesn't work, make sure to create a brand new email and uh, you can uh, create the Catalan account with that and verify the link. Verify your email and then you should be able to go and download Catalan Studio after you log in to the catalan.com. Now, once you download, before you configure, you will need a GitHub account. So what is a GitHub account? So GitHub is used to manage the source code. It, it provides you repository for all the code or your test suites, uh, test cases and so forth. So Catalan Studio requires that you have, you have a GitHub account first and you have a repository created on the GitHub account using the GitHub account. Um, and then you need to hook that up. Get, you will need that information uh, when you actually configure Catalan and Studio Enterprise on your desktop. Okay, so let's see how do you get a GitHub account and what you need to do for that. All right, so I will go to, I'm open a, opening up a new browser window, github.com. Okay, I'm already logged in, so I don't want you to use that. So I'm gonna sign out. Okay, so you will end up on this page. And here you can do is, what you can do is click on sign up. Okay, enter your email. So it takes QA September 2022 at gmail.com. Click on continue, create a password. Okay, so I got password, enter a username. I'm going to put the same name, September 2022 at gmail.com. Okay, so I'm keeping it same as my email so that I can remember it, what is my username or login and all, all those things. Okay, so it doesn't like it. So I'm gonna trim at gmail.com and it says, yep, this is available. Uh, so that I can, this username is available so that I can uh, create an account with it on the GitHub. So let me go and click continue. Would you like to per se receive product acceptance? No. Then I'll say no. 
All right, now final step, you need to verify your account. So for that, you have to play a puzzle. Let's do that. Where is the spiral galaxy? I guess this is the one. Okay, pick the spiral galaxy. I guess this is the one. All right, finally, I am able to create my account. Okay, so it did launch, sent, sent an email to with the launch code to your email account. So let's see if I received anything here. Ah, there you go. Okay, my launch code is this. So I'm going to copy that and see if I can paste it. Hey, yes, I can paste it. And I'm in. Now it just says how many team members will be working with you. I can just ask him for some information. So I'll say 10 to 20. I'm a student or teacher. I'm a student. Click continue. What features you are interested in? And at this point, I'm just trying to see what's there. So I'll just click on continue and uh, continue for free. Okay, that's what you need. So make sure you, when you are on this page, click on continue for free. All right, so you are traveling at the speed of light and uh, Let's see. So first of all, it will ask you to create the repository. And so for, for me, I'm going to go and create a public repository. Now, what is public and private? If it's a public repository, it will be available for anyone on the internet to connect to your repository. If that's what you need, that's what you need. Again, I'm naming it as an art flown so that uh, I can have my test cases created as part of this repository and uh, I can work through it in the catalog studio afterwards. All right, so once you type it in Artflow, I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new repository. So it will create a new code, code repository where I can place all my test cases and so forth. Now, couple of things. This part is important. So make sure you copy this part and save it somewhere. So I'm going to go back and save it in Notepad here because you will need it later on to configure uh, your Catalan Studio, okay? Now, second part, your Catalan Studio. So at this point, you have a uh, repository and everything. Now, you have a repository, but you don't have any branches created. Uh, so just follow the step here. Uh, the branches, you, you will need a main branch created in the Git Hub. And how you can do that is by creating a new file. Even if it's empty, you can still do that. So I'll click on creating a new file here. And I'm just going to name is test.txt. And edit new file, hello GitHub. And create text.txt add optional. You don't need any of those things and I'm going to click on this green button. It is important. Without that, it will not save it. So commit new file. Okay, so now I can see my branch here, main branch where I can check in all the code and I just checked in one file there. So it automatically created a main branch for me. So at this point, we are good with creating, setting up the GitHub part, but not so fast you will need one more thing from the GitHub. So for that, you're gonna see this icon. It's a settings icon, it's a profile icon. I don't have a picture, so it doesn't, it doesn't show anything. But what you need is a, you need a personal access token, PAC token, okay? So you click on this thing, uh, your icon, then go to the settings. And then you find the developer setting, okay? So you scroll down all the way on this page, developer setting. And here you will see personal access token. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Right now it's a brand new, so I don't have any to access tokens created, but I can create a new token by clicking on generate new token. Okay, what is this token for? It's for are flown project students, okay? 
Uh, this token is for our student project students and uh, expiry date, I'll say no expiration. So anybody with this token can access my project anywhere in the world. Okay. Now full control or private repository access commit status. Okay, so I will give the access scope so they, they can work with the repository. And let's see what else they can do. They cannot delete, I don't want to give that. Read access of the project or full control of the project. How about that project access? And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to click on this generate token and I'll see a nice little token here. Okay. This is what this is a copy button. So make sure you click on it and it says copy. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. So I got my repository. Um, I got my username Intellix QA September 2022. This is GitHub, right? This is GitHub. So GitHub login uh, my git repo url and finally git personal access token pat personal access token okay so you will need these three pieces of information when you are setting up your own projects in the catalan studio okay so at this point i am done setting up and everything is good, so I am I can close out uh, my browser windows and everything else. But let's see what we have in the Catalan. So here they give you a sample project called First Project. Okay, so you are here. You downloaded. Uh, you as soon as you log into Catalan, this is where you will end up in uh, test ops, and they have a sample project. Now the one bad thing about sample project is uh, you cannot do much with the sample project. So what I can do is I can go to click view all projects and let's create our own project. How about that? So let's create our own project. Choose team, first team, I guess, or create a new team. How about our flow and students? Okay. So I create the team. Now I go back here and I'll say create project and say our flow students, click next. And I'm going to give a name of our flow. My project name is our flow. My Git repository name is our flow. Everything is our flow. All right, so at this point, my project is set up. Let's go to the settings. Aha, now here you need to link the project with the information that you saved earlier. So your GitHub, Right, this is where it's selected. What's my repo URL? My repo URL is this guy. So I'm going to copy that, paste it, username. My username is IntelliX QA. And what is my personal access token, which is this one? So I'll, I have three pieces of information. I'm going to save it. And uh, now, once you enter these three, then you should be able to click on connect. Once you connect, you, it will fetch certain information, the branch information, what is the name and so forth. Uh, you don't need to change anything at the bottom section, just click on create. Okay, so at this point, my project is set up and I'm ready to roll uh, with my uh, actual uh, our flown Catalan Studio. Okay, so let me take a pause here for a few minutes. And uh, we will resume in a minute. 